Hi, welcome to American Literature 2 at Seton Hill University. I'm Dennis Jers. Uh, I've been here at Seton Hill since 2003. I teach courses in literature, writing, journalism, and new media. I love teaching this class because I get to revisit works I've loved since I was a student, and I also get to teach works that I've never taught before. Uh, each time I read a familiar work, I find something new in it because I'm a different person. And each time that I read a new work, I find something familiar, because literature uh, reuses patterns. And the brilliant writers do new things with old patterns. Or, you know, maybe they use new patterns and they do familiar things in, in, a, in a brilliant, uh, more effective way. And those are the kinds of things that I hope that we can talk about as the semester progresses. Now, Canvas will be the command center for the course. We will be using other tools, such as a WordPress reading blog and a SoundCloud uh, audio podcasting uh, account. Uh, both of those tools are free, and there are specific assignments that are designed to introduce you to those tools, and you'll have the chance to practice with those tools before they become really important to your grade. So don't worry about that if you're technologically uh, skittish. And if you're technologically savvy, I think um, uh, this course will um, uh, allow you to use those skills in an interesting way. Okay, upcoming assignments will walk you through when to use each of those tools, so don't worry about those right now. Uh, first of all, I want to call your attention to this syllabus quiz assignment. Uh, and there's also a discussion on the nature of online learning. Now, for the syllabus quiz, uh, uh, the, this website... I've got it set up so that the home page defaults to the syllabus. And to read the course policies, you click here on this page. And here we have a Google Doc that has all the course policies. Now, I'm not going to spend my online uh, video lecture time walking you through the syllabus. That is, in fact, why there is an open notes quiz, uh, the syllabus quiz, that I'm asking you to take. That will draw your attention to the most important parts of the syllabus. Now, I'm asking you to put some time up front into thinking about how this online course is going to work so that you can decide whether an online course is right for you. And that's really the purpose of this online learning discussion. Here, I'm simply uh, asking you a prompt. I'm going through some information here about uh, time management and multitasking, and I want you to engage with that. And just follow the instructions, and I think that this uh, discussion will be pretty self-explanatory. Now, I should note that I do not consider an online course to be a watered-down, easy version of the face-to-face -face course. Uh, now, we do not have to meet at any particular time during the week, but there are regular deadlines. Uh, I expect us all to be talking about uh, talking with each other about what we're reading. And we really need to be uh, keeping up on the reading so that we're all reading them at the same time. So this course is designed with regular deadlines at 10 o'clock Thursday morning and 10 o'clock Monday morning. Now, you don't actually have to be at the computer at that time. And if Thursday morning and Monday morning are bad times for you, then by all means, do the work on Wednesday and Sunday. You don't have to do the work at that particular time. Now, I will start off by creating a separate Canvas activity for every assigned reading. For instance, this Joyce Kilmer poem, Trees. And by the way, Joyce is a man's name in the uh, 100 years ago, like names like Taylor and uh, other names like that that now were very uh, gender neutral. Uh, Joyce used to be a, a man's name. So Mr. Joyce Kilmer wrote this poem called Trees. And... Uh, before long, though, there will not be individual Canvas assignments for each assigned reading. What you're going to shift to is the course reading blog, and I'll show you what that looks like. Here in the syllabus, under basic course information, you can see a link to the course reading blog. So let's go there now. And here you could see uh, on this outline for the rest of the semester, here we have all the readings that I'm asking you to do for the rest of the semester. Now, some of them, for instance, this one right here just says poetry. Closer to that deadline, I'll replace that with, uh, you know, maybe individual uh, poems that I'm asking you to respond to. 
there are a couple other places where I have uh, to be announced. So uh, this uh, list will develop a little bit, but uh, you can get a general sense of what the readings are. This video asks, uh, shows you how to set up your WordPress blog. Uh, you don't have to worry about that right now. If you're just following along, let's go back to the Canvas page. If you just follow along these assignments, here we have WordPress blog tutorial. Click on that link, follow the instructions. 99.5% of my students have no trouble following that tutorial. If you would like a little extra help, there's still time for us to figure that out. Uh, I want you to get started on this stuff soon, but uh, just go ahead and work through these assignments in this order. And uh, uh, as you need more information, these assignments will, will feed you what you need to know. Okay, now my assumptions about you include that you've graduated from high school or the equivalent, meaning that you know how to do the kinds of things that a high school English teacher would ask you to do. And that would include reading a work of literature, looking up in a dictionary unfamiliar words and historical references, identifying and understanding things like plot and main themes and motives of the characters and the setting and the tone and imagery uh, found in the works, understanding the importance of the difference between your own world as you know it and the world of the literary characters and what counts as normal for them versus what is a normal experience for you. And I also figure that you already know how to express your personal reaction to a story or a poem that you read, making some personal connection between what you're reading and your own life. I assume you can do all these things because that's what high school English teachers would have asked you to do and would have rewarded you for doing. Since you are here in college, I assume that you passed your high school English courses. So your high school English courses, I assume, uh, will have given you a solid grounding that prepares you to study literature at the college level. That means that what I'm asking you to do builds upon the plot summary and character analysis and being able to find biographical details about an author's life and your own individual emotional responses. I'm asking you to build on that set of skills, uh, that set of skills, in order to respond to and interact with literature at the college level. Now, I have sorted assignments. If you go here to the modules view, I've sorted these assignments in groups. Here's a, a sort of a general orientation. Uh, this is general participation, and then here we have a skill called. Uh, a module called Literary Close Reading. And for January 22nd, there's a, a lecture to watch and a response to do. And then I have these exercises, and these exercises are spread out over the course of the semester uh, that are designed to get you deeper and deeper and further and further into the practice of doing college-level literary analysis. Now, um, so this listing, this module listing, is important for me uh, because uh, it allows me to see how all these assignments fit together. Now, for you as a student, however, clicking here on the calendar review, this may be the more useful uh, sort of day-to-day -day tool where you go to find out, well, uh, here's what's coming up that's due at 10 o'clock Friday morning, uh, Class will usually have due dates on Thursday and Monday, but for this first day of, of classes, uh, I'm not expecting you to have something due, you know, 10 o'clock on the very first day of classes. So these are some simple assignments. The, the due date that I'm setting is for 10 o'clock Friday. After that, most of the assignments will be on Monday or Thursday. There are a few cases where I shift those deadlines a little bit, but they're all here on the calendar, and um, uh, you should be able to plan ahead for them. Now remember, um, uh, you do not have to be sitting at your computer at this time. And notice these assignments, so this is 10.01, 10.02, 10.03. .10 Here, all I'm doing is I'm setting these things up because this is the order in which I want you to do these assignments. I'm not expecting these to take you, you know, one minute each. Uh, all this work, I'm going to start evaluating at 10 o'clock on um, uh, Friday morning. Okay, so... Um, at the end of a class, when I ask my students what advice would they give 
to the students who are just step, starting out in this course next semester. Most of them say things like this. They say, make sure you do all the Canvas assignments on time. Or they say, even if they feel like busy work, those Canvas assignments are designed to teach you the skills that you'll need to know in order to do the more advanced work. Now, I've already mentioned, and the syllabus explains, that there will not always be a Canvas activity to go along with every assigned reading. You will instead find those readings listed on the course reading blog. And the um, uh, an upcoming assignment, this WordPress blog tutorial, goes into a little bit more detail about, actually a lot of detail, about exactly how I want you to use your Seton Hill blog. Uh, it's a free account. If you've already blogged for me before in a different class, just use that blog. If you've never blogged for me or, or uh, before, uh, this video will tell you everything you need to know in order to get yourself started. Okay, now uh, for the record, uh, I try not to do reading comprehension quizzes. Quizzes don't really teach, uh, and I would rather do things that teach than simply uh, have something that's, uh, that exists only to force you to do the work. Um, there are no assignments designed to reward points to students who demonstrate that they can get the gist of the plot from Schmoop. And now in much the same way, I do not award points based on your ability to memorize the alphabet and to recognize the letter R. In college, you will need to know the alphabet and you will need to know the letter R in order to use those literary skills in more advanced ways. And it's those more advanced skills that I intend to evaluate when you respond to readings. And memorizing the alphabet and recognizing the letter R that's kind of like being able to summarize the plot and identifying themes. Yes, they're important, but that's only a very small component of the skill, the advanced college level skill that I'm asking you to do. And again, this, go here in modules, this whole sequence on literary close reading is designed to uh, teach you what I mean when I'm talking about responding to literature at the college level. Now, this sequence of assignments on the poem trees, let's go in a calendar view. And for Friday, I'm asking you to read the poem trees and respond briefly. And then I have these brief exercises. There are four of them. Each one will only take you, you know, about 10 minutes or so. Uh, these assignments are designed to help you apply what you're learning about literary close reading. There's a video lecture here on literary close reading that I'm asking you to watch and pay attention to and respond to. Trees is a very short poem, and these are four very short exercises that are designed to help you understand what I'm looking for when I ask you to respond to a literary text at the college level. Now, there is a short story called Bernice Bobs Her Hair. Uh, if you were to read this aloud, it would take about an hour to read aloud, so it's a longish short story. Um, I'm asking you to read that and respond to it, and then um, uh, we'll be using uh, this story um, uh, you know, later on in, in uh, next week for another assignment. So, uh, you know, all these assignments are, are designed to, to build so that you do something at the small level, and then once you've accomplished that, you go on to the next level. So bear with me. Uh, uh, the course is going to ramp up pretty quickly, but um, uh, it is designed so that if you are uh, uh, running into trouble at this early stage, uh, I'll know early enough in the course that I can adjust things and, and give you some individual help if need be. Now, when you consider that an in-person class that meets twice a week meets uh, for 75 minutes uh, each session. So this time commitment that I'm asking you to do here, well, this uh, WordPress blog tutorial, that's about a 45-minute video. This short story would be about an hour if you listen to it. So right there, you know, that's, that's about an hour and, and 40 minutes. Um, uh, there's a couple short chapters in a book to read, and then these little exercises, which, you know, this probably shouldn't take you more than a half hour here. So uh, this block of time, it, um, when you realize that uh, most successful students plan to put in two to three hours outside of class 
for every hour they put in the class. When you consider the hour and 50 minutes that you would have spent, like in my face-to-face -face class, we probably would read the poem trees and do these exercises right in class. And uh, we wouldn't, you know, this wouldn't be homework. Well, in uh, an online class, uh, there is no class time. You know, you're kind of on your own. You have to do these on your own time and, and fit that in your, your, uh, your schedule. But um, this, uh, uh, this class is set up to recognize that even though you may read a little bit slower or a little bit faster than the average student, you may write a little bit slower, a little bit faster than the average student, um, the successful students will put in as much time as is necessary to get the grade that they want. But I'm trying to pace these uh, assignments so that each week, in two sections each week, you'll have about as much work as you would have for uh, a class that met twice a week in a face-to-face -face session. Okay, now in this class, 25% uh, of your grade is the class participation. Let's go here to assignments and you can see how things are divided up. So 10% participation, 25% reading responses, 25% exercises, which is that sequence that teaches you uh, how to do college level literary analysis. There's a term project that I call a creative critical project, and you can take a look at that in the syllabus or you can click on these things and see what I mean by that. But uh, this is, um, I'm asking you to use your critical thinking skills and your creativity. In the past, students have made videos or they've written songs or they've made you know games. Uh, really pretty much anything goes as long as you demonstrate that you are using your creative talents in order to um, uh, understand literature. And then uh, a quarter of your grade is a traditional literary research paper and that's broken up into sections and we'll spend m much of the month of April working on that. Now you uh, do need to demonstrate a willingness to keep up with the readings and to contribute substantially to the online discussions, also engaging independently with each other. I do not promise to comment on every post that you make in Canvas uh, or every post that you make on your blog. I'm not going to jump in and correct you every time that you spell a character's name incorrectly or make some other mistake. I, I will hope that your classmates will correct you. Um, um, but. Uh, uh, the, there's a lot of value in letting students talk to each other. And in a face-to-face -face class, we would have a lot of time for discussion. So in this online class, I've built in a, a quarter of the class um, grade. Uh, you're not just discussing these readings for my benefit. You're demonstrating that you are learning by discussing these works with each other. And as we get up to um, uh, this assignment, the discussion portfolio, there, there is a practice assignment that tells you exactly what I mean by that. And it will become a little bit clearer as the, as the time approaches. Uh, my students tell me um, all this may sound overwhelming and confusing in the first week or so of class. But once the class gets started and gets underway, most tell me that they understand it and appreciate it and they understand why I do it this way. Okay. Now, uh, as I record this video, um, let's go back to the home page. Uh, pretty much every assignment all the way out till May is listed here in Canvas, or again, the reading assignments are listed here on this outline page in the, um, the reading blog. Uh, there may be minor changes, um, uh, but there shouldn't be any big surprises. I will look forward to your responses to upcoming assignments. And I, I won't usually do this, but I'm going to go ahead and walk you through uh, in addition to this video, which if you're watching, well, there you are here on introduction lecture. Uh, clicking here will take you to this page. And I assume you've already done this and you already got to the introduction lecture page somehow. And I'm going to ask you to reply to this video. Uh, here's the rubric and explains what I'm looking for. And then when you're done with that, back to the calendar and work your way through the assignments. Uh, the syllabus quiz is next. Next, there's a discussion on online learning, etc. So it's all pretty much laid out for you. If you have any trouble, 
the syllabus explains how to get in touch with me, and I'll again show you over here on the syllabus page. Click here on syllabus. There you are. Here we go to course policies. Here we go to basic course information. And here we go. Contacting me, all my contact information, uh, office hours, how to book an appointment for me. All this is here in the syllabus. So, with that being said, welcome again to American Literature from 1915 to the present, and I look forward to hearing your responses to this lecture as well as the other assignments that are coming up. So happy reading, and we'll be in touch.